My best bet of the weekend comes out of the Texas Bengals game. You got Texans catching six and a half, and sharp money is coming in on the Texans catching the six and a half, but only 29% of the bets and 35% of the money is taking the points with the Texans. You got 65% of the overall money taking the Bengals under a touchdown. Listen, I am riding with the Houston Texans plus six and a half. My main part of this handicap revolves around that this is a terrible, and I repeat, terrible spot for Cincinnati. Yeah, they look great. Yeah, they're the public darling. Yeah, I get it. All they do is win and cover. Win and cover. Joe Burrow and the Bengals start off slow, and then they get hot and they don't lose. That's been the narrative about the Bengals. But let's take a look at their last two games. They were at the 49ers, a must win for the Bengals. The Niners could afford to lose. Now, granted, the Niners were coming off two straight losses, didn't want to go into the bye week with three straight losses. But even with three straight losses, the Niners are still above 500. Meanwhile, the Bengals, who started off so bad, needed to not only get a win, but also prove that they can beat one of the best teams in the league at their own house. And that's what they did. So that was a must win going over to uh, San Francisco, getting the win. Then they came back home and they had to play the Bills, right? A lot of history between them with uh, Cincinnati and the Bills lately. And what do they do? They handled the Bills at home, got it done. So two must wins against two of the top teams in the league. Let's be honest, say what you want about the Bills. They are still in the top 10 of the league. So you got two games against two top 10 opponents. I would argue top five opponents. And then guess what they have? Next week, on a short week, they have Baltimore Thursday night football. This is your division rival who's got two games up on you and everyone else in the division. Big, big game on the road in Baltimore this Thursday. And what do you have between those games from the from from last game between the bills and the next week between baltimore oh you just got the the cute little houston houston texans coming to town all right who you should beat up on right this is a classic sandwich spot overlook game that the Bengals are going to be overlooking the texans in this one meanwhile you got a scrappy texans team that, that that does not quit and we saw that last week that was a miracle 46 second left in the game they're down four they need a touchdown cj stroud drives them down gets the win man that was beautiful chef's kiss but let's take a look at this let's take a look at what happened so we go back to last week before the game's played the look ahead line for this game between the Bengals and the texans was cincinnati laying eight and a half all right they're laying eight and a half so what happened last week week nine we had Bengals, another great great dominating win against against the bills at home so they look good meanwhile what happened with the texans the texans needed a comeback miracle win against the tampa bay at home granted they got it done and they looked great doing it but at the same time they shouldn't have as a favorite at home shouldn't have been in that spot to need a miracle comeback so i mean if anything you would maybe keep them the same or slightly downgrade but you would definitely be upgrading cincinnati so cincinnati should only be going up houston should either be staying flat or going down so when we look at the look ahead line, Cincinnati, before those games were played, was laying eight and a half at home against Houston. And what, what are we at now? We're at Cincinnati only laying six and a half. So not only should Cincinnati have been upgraded, and this line should have maybe got closer to 10, they went the other way. And they didn't just go the other way. They went two full points through the key number of seven. We are below seven, people. That means the books... The books are saying we do not want to be on the other side of seven. We do not want to take all this sharp money on Houston at seven or above. We want to be below it. And the books, listen, as my buddy Cricket likes to say, those those casinos in Vegas didn't build themselves off of losers, all right? They win. The books know what they're doing. And I, I think this is just a, this. I think everyone knows this is a bad, bad spot for Cincinnati. Cincinnati, th this, this look ahead line, the two points of adjustment does not make sense to go through the key number. I think Houston is the right play. Houston, uh, they're going to always be playing hard. We see that they got their young team, rookie quarterback. They're, they're trying to get above 500 for the first time since I don't know when. D'Amico Ryans is going to be coaching this team up beautifully. We know that he's not going to make mistakes coaching. He's going to be aggressive. And the back door is always open. Let's say Cincinnati's up 10. Fourth quarter, they're up 10. You think they're going to care if Houston scores another touchdown? No, they just want to survive in advance. Houston's going to keep trying. Houston's going to score that touchdown. Who knows? Houston might even win this game. 
But I all he knows is D'Amico Ryan's is going to coach to win the game, and that's what we're going to get out of Houston. And Houston, I mean, I like Houston. Maybe even sprinkle on the money line, but we don't have to worry about that. We're catching six and a half. Meanwhile, you have Chase and Higgins out for Cincinnati. I know Higgins is out for sure. They're saying Chase might play on Sunday. I doubt it. I think this is another factor of, of Cincinnati focusing on Baltimore on Thursday. By the way, you have to prepare for Baltimore this week because it's too short of a week on the road to not focus on Baltimore. So they're going to be a little bit distracted. They're going to be looking ahead for that Thursday because that, let's be honest, that Thursday night game matters so much more than this game. They think no matter what they do, they're going to be able to just survive in advance, get it, get it close, ugly win against Houston at home. And then, and then they're going to go on the road to Baltimore. And that, that's a big game. So why would they risk T. Higgins and Jamar Chase? I think they're both going to sit out. Higgins is out for sure. Chase likely to sit out. And let's look at Stroud. Stroud has been incredible. He has 14 passing touchdowns and 220 or over, over 2,200 passing yards, by the way, with only one interception. He's on pace to tie Tom Brady with the best TD to interception ratio in NFL history. He's the third QB to have 14 passing touchdowns, 2,200 or more yards in his first eight games. And the only other people to do that is Patrick Mahomes and Justin Herbert. Pretty good company to be in. Let's see. Stroud in his eight starts. He's um, he's 4-1 in ATS as an underdog. Which, hey, we're an underdog on the road here. As a favorite, he's terrible. He's owned three ATS. So I kind of I kind of like that he's not a fit. Granted, he should have covered last week, but they did, you know, they got funky with all that stuff. Anyways, he's also excellent in the first half. So maybe you don't feel confident playing enough for the game. Look at him for the first half. Stroud in the first half. He is five and three first half ATS this season. And then uh in the first half, Stroud is five and oh ATS as a dog this season. Not bad. Not bad. I'm just telling you, listen, I love, I love Houston here. Houston is my best bet of this weekend. I wouldn't even be surprised if Houston wins this game, honestly. But Houston's going to keep it close. We know the back door is always open. Sharp money on the Texans for a reason. And honestly, the biggest thing here is terrible spot for the Bengals and Joe Burrow. And the books put this line below seven for a reason. So the books know Bengals are in trouble this weekend. Hammer Houston. Let me know what you think. Comment in below if you like this pick or if you're going to ride with Joe Burrow on the Bengals.